What's the difference between a switch and a router? That's the paradigm of the ages, isn't it? You know, routers today are act like switches, and switches act like routers, and they kind of seem like they're all doing the same things. Look, it really comes down to a really simple thing. Switches connect all my computers together on my local network. That's what a switch does. It allows me to, to bl bring in 24 computers, 48, whatever the case may be. And a router is designed to be very flexible. It allows me to connect from one office to another office, connect to my office to the Internet, and it allows me to change the interface cards on here to match whatever link is going to give me the best speed at the best cost for my business, um, and that allows me to grow and expand my businesses. Switches should actually be put in your network and and they're, they shouldn't be replaced for five to seven years. Typically, you buy a really good switch. It has some good security features in it. They'll remain in place for a while. A router I can put in my network, and I can pop out the interface cards as my business grows, as a business need happen, and really expand my network and grow my businesses. And as time grows on, I can actually, as my business grows, if you will, I can move that equipment down to another office and put newer equipment in. And that's really the difference between a, a switch and a router. It, it used to be measured on speed. That's really not the case anymore. Routers are uh, just as fast as switches today. The real difference is one connects me to the Internet, to other offices. The other connects all my local computers, and then they're ready to go there. really makes a difference in buying a switch because you really don't want to buy a switch. It's a router if you really don't need those functions because those switches are a lot more pricey and you're really spending a lot of money that you may not really need to do. I'm Jimmy Ray Purser. Thanks for joining me today.